Falling short. Issues of Uncle Jay. What's wrong? I asked Arusi, my then girlfriend, who I was driving home after spending an evening together. We went too far. I promised myself we won't go too far, replied Arusi, oozing an aura of confliction. There's no point crying over spilt milk. How can you claim to be a Christian and be so okay with the fact we slept together? I'm not okay with it. I'm just saying rather than getting depressed about what happened, let's work on avoiding making the same mistake as a couple. Well, I'm not hanging out at your place again. If you feel that will help, no problem. I don't think, I don't think that will help. Let's not forget that we tend to get hot and heated in the car. Maybe we shouldn't be alone, period. That's a bit extreme, don't you think? What do you mean? I mean, at some point, we can't just blame where we're at, I pointed out. So what do you suggest? Asked Harusi, now clearly frustrated. I think we should just support one another with love to exercise self-control. That sounds like you're trying to orchestrate a repeat of what happened this evening. Or maybe your reaction to this evening is just an indication of a bigger issue, I highlighted. What do you mean? Think about how you've been in this relationship since the very start, and you'll know exactly what I mean. Episode 8 Sex Man has a disease. We destroy vast forests to build our cities. We destroy beautiful habitats for our wants, showing no pity. Animals needlessly die to decorate our sitting rooms. For our pleasure, nature needlessly faces its doom. We contaminate our water through dumping because we can't be bothered. We contaminate our air, then blame it on each other. It wouldn't surprise me if nature made us pay our debt, for man truly is the cancer of this planet. It's funny how a single moment image and movie can reprogram the human mind. There was once a time I had no concept of sex. I remember at the age of around five, a girl kissing me and it having no sexual connotation to me whatsoever. Then that same year, while being left alone, my older sister and I found a pornographic video in my mother's room and watched it. After that day, I became, for lack of a better word, a horn dog. If I saw any woman that was remotely attractive, my imagination went to the realm of sex. Be it a Whitney Houston music video, pretty girls in class, and even cartoon characters. Moving in with a horny teenage older cousin in Bolaji, who bombarded me with dirty jokes and stories didn't help the matter. By the time I got to primary school, I was a kid with an extremely filthy mouth and mind that lied about having sex. The truth is, my first sexual encounters were not good and took the form of my cousin Kemi, who was three years older than me, molesting me and forcing me to strip in front of her, the house help, and wrote to me, which was yet another reason for me to cry myself to sleep as a child. Thinking back, she must have been sexually abused herself or just plain cruel. Then it was a girl next door I worked hard to sleep with at the age of 15. We did everything but sex due to the fact that apart from trying to convince her, there were never ending obstacles. Thinking back, I probably wouldn't have been able to perform anyway because of my penis being exhausted due to excessive masturbation. That summer I discovered masturbation and became a slave to it way into adulthood. At first it was because I was a horn dog, but after a while I used it just to escape from the pain of my life. The way others would use alcohol or drugs, which was apparent because I continued to do it even when getting sexual partners was no longer an issue. Sexual indiscipline definitely played a major part in unbalancing me. I ruined a lot of my relationships. If I had a chance to do it all over, I would definitely be sexually disciplined the way God would want me to be, right from the very start. My Anime Life, Episode 8 Unsure of what she had witnessed, the young lady began to follow Jay for a whole day until they both ended up in the less desirable area of a nearby city. The young woman watched from across the street as Jay seemingly was about to enter a well-known brothel. Why are you following me? said Jay, now behind her. How do you do that? said the woman, who was so startled she fell while jumping backwards. Does it matter? responded Jay. The young lady, in turn, could only stare at him while still on the floor. What's your name? asked Jay, now offering her hand to help her up. Anika, answered the woman as she took his hand to get to her feet. Anika, why would you think it's safe for you to follow any stranger, let alone one displaying abilities you don't understand? 
I was curious, I guess. Do you believe in God? What? Do you believe in God? Yeah, answered Annika quietly. Then you are aware that demons can take human form. So can angels. Which am I? Neither. How did you come to that conclusion? Around demons, one would have at the very least some kind of unsettling feeling. And with angels, there's always a constant peace around them. That's what I've heard anyway. What do you feel around me? Nothing. Nothing isn't necessarily a good thing. I see that now, said Annika, subtly referring to the brothel across the street. A judgmental stalker. What a paradox. I'm not a stalker, said the woman who has literally been following me for hours. In the way a zoologist would follow a Bigfoot or something. Okay, Indiana Jones, do you live around here? Why? It's late and it would be unkind of me to leave you walking home by yourself. I live about an hour by foot. Okay. Are you going to use your thing to get me home? Actually, I was going to see if I could get you a cab. That's not necessary. I can take care of myself, said Anika, then walking off. They, in a blink of an eye, began to walk beside her. Who's the stalker now? I'm not walking behind you, I'm walking with you. I didn't give you permission to, pointed out Anika with a smirk. Sometimes to be a gentleman, one doesn't need permission. Indiana Jones is an archaeologist, by the way. Falling Short complete series can be found on Jumar Studios' YouTube channel. Falling Short is also available in paperback book format or on Kindle. To get your copy, email jamarstudios at gmail.com. That's jamarstudios at gmail.com.